These are the new Mackie Pro DX series ultra compact digital mixers, and as you can see, they definitely live up to that. Uh, this is the Pro DX4, the tiniest, tiniest mixer I have ever seen. This has got two uh, combo TRS jacks and one 3.5mm jack input, two balanced uh, TRS uh, out for left, right, and one for its one aux bus. Over here on the 8, we've got six combo TRS inputs, one 3.5mm jack. Uh, TRS out for uh, left and right, and two uh, TRS out for AUX1 and AUX2. So that's the big differences, uh, one AUX bus, two AUX buses. Uh, now you can control these either from the front panel by selecting your channels, and then your knob does everything. So that's just basic level control. Same with effects, same with the main, same with your headphones. Uh, but that only gets you so far. So that's level control once you're up and running. Uh, on the Mixer Connect app, which you connect via Bluetooth, to connect you simply hold down the uh, Bluetooth uh, icon on the front. You've got a limited time to connect, so obviously that's a security feature to stop other people jumping on. And then uh, you're in what is a fairly easy to use app. You've got um, channel overview, you can get into your settings. Now, you've got uh, three band EQ on every channel and a high pass. Uh, only the mid is sweepable. And you've got a one effects unit, which can run uh, various delays and, and reverbs. Uh, you don't really have any control over any parameters in that. You've just got a mount, really. So it's not going to let you get into too much trouble, uh, which is what this is really all about. It's for those really small you know, bands, small duos, small presentations uh, that just basically want to set and forget, almost mix from side of stage, mix it yourself kind of vibe. You've obviously got the ability to take the phone out, wander around and change a few things. And effectively what, what you do is if you are mixing the band while you're playing in it is just have the phone next to you connected and then just you know pull the reverb uh, volume down between songs. That's pretty much what you do. Now this is one of two things I don't like about these or I found I think are flaws is that when you make it a dramatic change on say a channel EQ while you're running it actually does produce some artifacts. Look that's not great but you're not going to be doing that when you're using this. This is not the kind of mixer that is actively you know, mixed on while it's being used. Um, the other floor is that there's no uh, phantom power, which is a little annoying if you, you know, want to use a nice Beta 87 or something like that. But again, not the end of the world. This is very much a, a sort of a low budget, low cost solution to fairly simple live sound applications. Look, the preamps are great. It does exactly what it says. You can't get into too much trouble. You can store three presets with your seven, and you've got seven band uh, graphic EQ over your aux outs and main outs. So you've got access to enough tools to do simple gigs. And at this size and price point, that's exactly what they're all about. If you like this video, please like us, share us with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.